Sixth question, the following data refer to the daily absence of the worker in a factory during 30 days. Prepare an appropriate frequency distribution and hence obtain less than type cumulative frequency distribution. Here we can see the information as you can see the information is starting uh, the smallest observation is 0 and the largest observation is 4. So for such of the value we will create a discrete frequency distribution as it is a less than 10. So first of all let's take the information into book that the data refer to the daily absence of the worker in a factory during 30 days which is going to turn into discrete frequency distribution. First of all write down the smallest observation that is 0 and the largest observation is 6. Here is the 6. Discrete frequency distribution of the absence worker of the factory. First of all write down the number of absent worker that is 0, 1, 2, 6 and continue with the tally marking. It's very simple 0 1 then the next is 1 next is 4 next is 5 and I'll complete the remaining here we complete the tally marking and here we found the total of frequency with 30 now out of this information which is going to switch into the less than type cumulative frequency now in such question when the information is given on this create will continue with the same number which is given for the discrete frequency distribution that is 0 to 6 the next will write down the frequency which we found after doing telemarking that is 5 7 5 6 4 2 1 then after we will continue with the cumulative frequency the, here when the information is given in discrete now this is something important when the information is given related to the discrete frequency distribution here we are not turning in any class the same class will be continue and here the most important will not start with zero zero cup start karna hai jab continuous frequency distribution ho discrete me you can start with the first number which is given in the frequency that is five Next is 5 plus 7, 5 plus 7 plus 5, 5 plus 7 plus 5 plus 6, 5 plus 7 plus 5 plus 6 plus 4, 7 plus 2 and here the last frequency which is 1, 2 plus 1. Now at the end just bring out the total. We get the less than type cumulative frequency and the total. Moving to the next question. Question number 7. There were 850 students studying in higher secondary of a school. The number of students in standard 10, 11, 10, 12 were in, in the proportion of 8 is to 5 is to 4. In standard 10, the number of boys is 30% of the number of students in the school. And in standard 11, the number of boys and the girls are equal. In standard 12, the number of boys is 3 times the number of girls. Present the above data in a tabular form. So first of all, out of this information, first check with the how many attributes are given. One thing is given here is standard and the proportion of boys and girls. So take the information in table by putting the standard and the gender boys and girls. So first take the total that what the number of total students were there that is 850 next in the higher secondary school the number of students 10th 11th 12th was in the proportion of 8 is to 5 is to 4 now this is the ratio which have to be removed and distribute between the standard 10th 11th and 12th first of all take the number of total students that is 850 then count the ratio here 8 plus 5 plus 4 8 8 plus 5 plus 4 it is 17 so 8 upon 17 5 upon 17 and 4 upon 17 then take the standard 10th with the proportion of ratio 8 upon 17 then for standard 11th take the total number of students and take the ratio of 11th and for the standard 12th, first of all take the total number of students, multiply with 
4 upon 17. First remove the calculation. Here I remove the calculation of 10, 11 and 12. So first of all take them all into the table. That is 400 for the standard 10, 250 for 11th and 200 for 12th. Next information. In standard 10 the number of boys is 30% of the number of students in the school. So remove the 30% of the total. Here I took the total number of students and remove the 30% of it. It is 255. So this will be the number of boys in the standard 10th. As per the given information that the in standard 10 the number of boys is 30% of the number of students in the school. Means total number of students ka 30%. So here we remove 255 boys. Just get minus with 400 you will get the number of girls. That is 400 minus 255. Here we get the total number of girls in standard 10 is 145. Next, in standard 11, the number of boys and girls are equal. Now, in standard 11, the total number of students is 250. Just divide by 2. You will get the equal proportion of boys and girls. That is 125, 125. Or if I show the calculation here boys and girls in equal proportion that is 1 is to 1 1 plus 1 it is 2 so the calculation go with the boy for the boys 250 ka half will be 125 same for the girls sorry i don't have the space for the calculation here comes 125 next In standard 12, the number of boys is 3 times the number of girls. So for this, number of boys is 3 times of girls means girls is a number of 1 and the boys comparatively 3. So this is what the ratio between boys and the girls that is 1 is to 3. So total 1 plus 3 will be 4 which will be divided. And here we'll take the calculation of 200 that is the standard 12 proportion of students 200 1 upon 4 for girl and for boy 200 into 3 upon 4 so here we get 50 and here 150 take the calculation in table number of boys is 150 and girls 50 bring up the total that is 530 and number of girls comes 320. So here we complete question number 7. Moving to the next. In the year 2013, there were 1,200 students studying in the school and of them, 400 were girls. 50 girls are not residing in hostel. In all 600 boys were residing in hostel. And in the year 2014, there is an increase in 20% of the number of boys and number of girls increased by 30%. During this year's 260 boys and 100 girls are not residing in hostel in the year 2015. 140 boys and the 100 girls are newly admitted in the school and all of them resided with the hostel student. Present above data in the tabular form. So first of all out of this information we can say the attributes of years residing in the hostel and not in the hostel and the genders of boys and girls so out of this information take first into a book and here i prepare the table out of this information where i wrote the year in the one column and residing of in hostel and not in hostel and the number of boys girls and at the end the total number of students so here we start with the year 2013 where the total number of students is 1200 in the school and of them 400 were girls so, for the year 2013, we will take the total number of students, 1200 and out of them, 400s were girl. Next, 50 girl were not residing in hostel. So, out of this, 50 girl were not residing in hostel. In all 600 boys were residing in hostel. 
so now the people residing in hostel the number of boys were 600 so out of this information first of all look at the total we have the total and the number of girls just get them minus you will get the number of boys next here we have the total number of girls and not residing in hostel not in hostel that is 50 so 400 minus 50 here we'll get the number of girls residing in hostel that is 350 so 600 boys and 350 girls total number of people residing in hostel was 950 here 950 if get minus with the 1200 will get the number of residing uh, not residing in hostel that is 250 total number we already got who is not residing in the hostel total get minus with the number of girls will get the number of boys will be 200 that is 50 minus 250 will get 200 so here we complete the information for the year 2030 next we'll start with the in the year 2014 there is an increase in 20 percent in the number of boys and the number of girls increase by 30 percent okay boys are increased by 20 percent and girls are increased by 30 percent i just took the number of boys in the year 2013 and the number of girls in the year 2013 so here they say the number of boys increased by 20 percent and number of girls increased by 30 percent first of all let's remove the calculation this is what the calculation we found 20 percent and 30 percent and it has been written clearly it has been increased by so 800 pehle tha increased by 160 so here the number of boys became 960 in the year 2040 in the same way for the number of girls was in 2013 was 400 and increased by 30 percent that is 120 means it becomes to 520 and let get them total it is 1480 next during this year 260 boys and 100 girls were not residing in hostel so take the number 260 for the number of boys not residing and 100 girl who was not residing. So total of 260 plus 1 here we get 360. Now out of the total number of students get minus with the not residing in hostel here we get the answer the people those are residing into hostel. Same way the if we get minus total girls with the not residing in hostel here we will get 420 and for the number of boys seems just get minus the not residing boys in hostel with the total number of boys will get the answer 700 moving to the next line that is in the year 2000 15. 140 boys and 100 girls were newly admitted in the school and all of them residing with the hostel students. Here I took the number of boys and number of girls from the year 2014. As it is given in the question that 140 boys and 100 girls were newly admitted. So just add with the boys 140 and the girls 100 so here we get the total number 1100 number of boys and 620 number of girls take into the table total number of boys that is 1100 and 620 girls here we get the total 1720 and these newly admitted boys and girls all of them are residing in hostel so just take the number of boys 140 directly staying in the hostel 
that is here I took the number of boys and girls 720 residing in hostel and here again we will make an increase of 140 boys comes to 840 and the number of girls increased by 100 will turn into 520. Just take the number of boys and girls stay in resident, residing in hostel that is 840 and 520. Here get the total of this we will get 1360. So here we have the boys and girls residing in the hostel and the total number of students just get them minus the number of boys that 840 minus 100 and 1100 will get the not residing boys in hostel is 260 in the same way we'll do for the girls just 520 get minus with 620 will get the number of girls not residing in hostel and total number of residing in hostel minus with the total number of students will get the number 360. Now at the end just bring out the total of all the column here the total 2860 1540 4400 so here we complete question number 8. Moving to the next.